Have you ever considered participating in a clinical drug study? At FCRC, we bring people and science together through high-quality research. Over the past 12 years, we've helped thousands of people who thought they had nowhere else to turn. Are you in distress but have no access to health care? Have treatments you received been ineffective and are you looking for alternatives? I decided to participate in the clinical trial because health insurance is a major concern and you know you don't need health insurance to get in the clinical trials. Knowing that maybe I can help if one person can get some sort of benefit from my experience in the clinical trial, that would mean a lot to me. Research studies can provide access to promising drugs long before these compounds are approved for the marketplace. Some participants derive satisfaction from knowing that they are part of an effort to help other people who may be suffering from the same condition. Some prefer not to have their insurance or their employer aware of mental health or other medical issues. Taking part in a clinical research trial begins with you. It is strictly voluntary. At FCRC, you get the kind of personalized attention and care that you deserve, as determined by the study protocol. From the moment you pick up the phone to contact us, visit our website, or come to our clinic, our staff will provide you with the utmost care and respect. First phone contact was handled by Tracy. Good morning, Florida Clinical She Research answered Center. every this question, speaking, and then she set up my first appointment to see if yes. I would be a good candidate. What can you expect? After an initial telephone screening, the process begins with an assessment interview. Our assessment coordinators will take time to perform a detailed and comprehensive interview to help you determine if one of our trials is appropriate for you. You may also meet with one of our physicians or psychologists during the assessment. Before entering into a clinical trial, it is important for you to have as much information as possible about a study, its procedures, and medications in order for you to make an informed decision about whether or not to participate. To assist you in this process, the study physician and research staff will review an informed consent form, ICF, with you. The ICF describes all of the potential risks and benefits of the study, as well as your right to voluntarily discontinue participation at any time for any reason. All studies are designed to protect personal information. The database, the source record, identify participants by initials only. The informed consent form will also emphasize the voluntary nature of your participation and that you may withdraw consent at any time. I did understand that my privacy would be protected in the trial. Not only was it included in the consent form, but it was also reiterated by the study coordinator very well. And that's one of the things also that was very inviting to me was to make sure that my privacy was kept confidential. Next comes the screening visit, which serves to establish the diagnosis and may include a physical exam, lab work, often an EKG, and various rating scales that assess the severity of your symptoms, depending on the study. Once a participant's physical and laboratory examinations have been found to be within norms required by the study, patients are scheduled for the baseline visit, during which you may be started on a medication or randomized according to the study protocol. During the trial, you will follow a treatment plan your study doctor prescribes, as outlined in the trial protocol. You will usually come to the clinic for weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly visits, depending on the protocol. You will receive study medication, laboratory tests, EKGs, physical examinations, and doctor's visits at no cost to you. You may also have other responsibilities during the trial, such as keeping a diary or filling out questionnaires about your health and well-being. Our staff will review your information, laboratory results, and medical assessments individually and will always be available to you for follow-up or questions. If for any reason you need to contact us between visits, we have a seven-day-a-week, 24-hours-a-day emergency phone. We prefer that you call us if any issues arise, rather than wait until your next visit. For example, you may get a cold and are not sure what cold medicine would be allowed in your study. You may wonder what happens after the study ends. We will provide you with recommendations for appropriate follow-up care. We can provide assistance in seeking alternative care within the community or assist you in obtaining medications as needed on an individual basis. You may have received a medicine that, at the time of the study, is not yet available anywhere. During the study, you may learn information about your condition and your general health that may be helpful to you. 
and we will gladly give you copies of your records to obtain further treatment. Participants often wonder what the outcome of their study is. We usually receive unblinded data months and sometimes years after the database is locked. If you request to be notified, we can share the results with you. I would rate my overall experience of the study at 10 because of the doctors, of the study coordinator, the, the secretary, the facility, because they really, really took good care of me. So give us a call today and find out about our current studies. And thank you for visiting our website at www.flcrc.com.